Hey, what's going on, Solar Family? It's James here, founder of Solar University. Before I dive into the video, if you haven't scheduled your solar strategy call yet, especially if you're new in the industry or you want to get in the industry and you have sales and marketing questions, make sure you book the solar strategy call. It's going to be a pop-up somewhere around this video. In this video, I want to talk about you know how to increase your productivity every single day, right? And uh, I honestly feel that it comes down to five things, right? And I, and I jotted it down here, here for you on my notebooks. So I don't forget. But first and foremost, um, this isn't part of the five, but you have to find a workspace where you can be productive, right? For me personally, it's a few spaces, right? The first is my office at home. The second is at the beach. And the third is here at the charging station. Uh, because th some of those areas, especially like at the beach and here, it's quiet, right? So it, it allows me to think. And a lot of times for me personally, I need that quiet space to think of strategies and things of that nature. And what I do is, you know, I go to my office at home, even if it's, you know, loud with the kids, especially right now, all the kids are at home. It doesn't really bother me too much, right? Because I already have a strategy beforehand. I just needed, you know, a quiet space or place to think. Right. And then from there I can execute. Right. So basically my office is where I execute. But I want to share five things with you so it can help you stay productive because I've been in that situation when I wake up in the morning and I'm like a leaf blowing in the wind. Right. And literally like wherever the wind blew me, that's where I ended up. And you shouldn't be like that. Right. And hopefully these five tips can really help you out. So your day and your months and your years can be more structured. So the first tip is what are your goals? What are your plans, right? What is your income goal for this year, for example? Because if you don't plan out your income goals this year, you're probably going to make just as much as you did last year. So what I suggest for you is, you know, come up with that income goal. So for example, if it's $100,000 a year, what is it going to take you to make that $100,000, right? So how many deals do you need to make for the year? And then divide that, you know, by four, which is four weeks. How many deals do you need to close every single week? Because I've been guilty of this as well. Uh, in the past, I may have had a an income goal, right? But I didn't necessarily have a plan of attack. So if you already have an income goal in mind, or maybe you don't, if you don't, definitely, you know, come up with an income goal. If you already have an income goal in mind, reverse engineer it and say, you know what, this is how much I want to make. Uh, this is how many deals I need this year. And this is how many deals I need to close every single week to actually reach that goal. My second tip for you is to create a plan for the following day, right? So uh, it's like playing chess, for example, right? And not, I'm not a good chess player. So ideally in chess, right, you wanna be able to think of like two or three moves ahead of your opponent. So it's the same exact thing when planning out your day, not just the day today, plan out what you're gonna be doing tomorrow and plan out what you're gonna be doing the following day after that, right? So you wanna be able to create uh, an action plan for you so what you can do you know, the following day is just to execute it. And you're not sitting there the day of execution you know, coming up with an actual plan. So for me personally, when I create my plan is towards the end of the day. Once you know, all the sales calls are done, uh, once all of my solar university training is done, I just sit back for like 20, 30 minutes and I just build on my master plan, right? Obviously, some of the some of the items or the to to do items may roll over, but you know, there's probably certain new, some new things that you want to add onto that schedule for the following day, right? So make sure you come up with a plan. I can't stress this enough. And also, you know, if you haven't done so already, create like a you can book me or a calendly calendar. And for me personally, I live and die by that calendar, right? If it's not on my calendar more than likely it's not gonna get done, right? So if you haven't created a calendar for yourself, I highly suggest to create one. So what I recommend for you to do is, you know, get a calendar. You can get an online calendar through like you can book me or Calendly and basically live and die with that calendar. So if it's not on the calendar, unfortunately it won't get done, right? So that's how I structure my day. 
is every single hour of the day, whether it's a 30 minute increment or hour increment, there's something there, right? I have a, a out eight hour day, so certain days, right? It's eight hours, certain days it's only four. Uh, on Fridays, it's only three. But, you know, every single hour during that day when you're, you know, supposed to be productive, make sure that, you know, you're doing something productive. And this segues into, you know, make sure that you're doing also income producing activities because we get, you know, income producing activities mistaken with, you know, busy work basically. So what busy work is, you know, creating like websites and and logos and things of that nature and creating websites and logos can take, you know, days or even weeks. And I know some folks are uh, that have been working on their website for years. And even though, you know, you've been sitting at the computer for like eight hours a day for the last, you know, two or three months, that's just basically, you know, busy work because that's not making you any money right now. So what you want to focus on is income producing activities, meaning that, you know, you should be on a, a phone call. Right. Or you should be emailing someone or texting someone or going to events and and stimulating business. Right. So don't get busy or confused with actual income producing activities, because if you're not speaking to homeowners about your offer about solar, more than likely you're not closing too many deals. Right. Even though you may be on the computer and, you know, you may be working on something every single day for eight hours a day for the last, you know, two or three months. That's just busy work. So make sure that you know the difference between busy work and actually income producing activities. So my fourth tip for you is to get an accountability partner. I mean, ideally, it should be outside your household uh, because, you know, if I tell my wife something, she may blow me off, right? She might not, not hold me as accountable, even though she does. Let me take that back. That's a bad example because if I tell my wife something, I better get it done, right? Because she will hold me accountable. But sometimes, you know, we don't have that strong accountability partner at home. Uh, ideally, you want to find somewhere outside of your home to be your accountability partner. It could be like a colleague at work, it could be a friend or family. Uh, it could be even even in different industry, right? So maybe your friend is an entrepreneur or whatnot, and you guys can just share ideas and also share your targets and your goals with him or her and just let them know like, hey, you know what, hold me accountable because this week uh, what I want to do is, you know, uh, launch a marketing campaign or, you know, uh, tomorrow I want to create a funnel or whatever that may be. Because it's easy for us to break integrity with ourselves, right? Because this happens all the time. Uh, not so much for me anymore because at the end of the day, if I tell myself I want to do something, more than likely I'm going to get it done. Because it's easier for us to break that integrity with ourselves. But it's very difficult if somebody else is waiting for you to do something for them. So make sure that you have an accountability partner. And ideally, it should be outside of your household. And my fifth and final tip for you to increase your daily production is to make sure that you track your results, right? So obviously, in the beginning of the video, I talked about setting goals and targets. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're tracking that because a lot of times too, and I'm guilty of this as well, is you know I, ha I may have a, a goal, I may ha have reverse engineer everything, uh, you know, and I already set the numbers or whatnot, how many deals I got to close for the month and how many deals I got to close for the year to actually hit my goal. But what happens is I'm not tracking it like, you know, monthly. I'm not seeing whether or not if I actually hit that number or if I didn't hit that number, then what am I doing to pivot and, you know, uh, do something differently so I can actually catch up, right? Because if I didn't hit my number this year, say for example, I'm going to close like, you know, five deals a month or whatnot to make $100,000 a year, then I only close three. I need to come up with an action plan. Like, what am I going to do this month differently than I did last month? Because if I do the same exact thing that I did last month, guess what? More than likely, you're going to get the exact same results, right? Just like Tony Robbins said, is if you do something over and over again, expecting a different result, that's insanity. But keep in mind, we're not always gonna hit our targets and our goals, right? That's why we're tracking it. But more importantly, you need to be able to create a countermeasure. What am I gonna do this month so I can catch up, right? So that's the whole idea of it. Don't beat yourself up if you're not hitting your goals every single month, because it doesn't happen every single month, right? We're not just crushing it every single month. Even though, you know, people on social media are just showing all their success and they're just seems like they're crushing it all the time. Don't believe that 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 hype, you know what I mean? Not everybody is crushing it every single month. Obviously, you have your highs and lows. We are in sales and we're also in in sales and commissions, 
right? We have a commission type uh, structure. So hopefully those five tips will help you be more productive every single day. And if you haven't scheduled your solo strategy call yet, especially if you're new in the industry or you want to get in the industry and you have sales and marketing questions, make sure you book that call. There's going to be a pop-up somewhere on this video. But before you take out, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the like button so this video gets shared to all of our solar family. Other than that, have an amazing day. Peace.